Well, all right, so I want to I do a video here on if I'm going to watch WrestleMania 34. Um, it's pretty sad that I'm, that I'm even asking this question because as, as a person who's watched wrestling for quite a while now, probably about five years consistently, it's pretty sad that WWE has drained, uh, drained me this much that I'm even questioning whether to watch the, the, the number one show of the year, WrestleMania. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a long ass show. It's probably going to be four five, six hours long. Uh, and if you add, add in the pre-show, I mean, forget it. It's pretty much a day long event almost. Um, and, and I just really don't have that much energy left to, 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 to watch this, this, this trash. It, it, it's tr every time you watch this company, you, you see a bunch of, uh, terrible wrestling, Terrible promos, just terrible everything. It's a terribly put together show by by an incompetent creative team that tries to micromanage everything. And, and half the shit they do doesn't have any sense behind it. It doesn't make any sense. So, you know, I'll probably end up watching it. And then after uh, April, whatever, I'll probably end up canceling the network because I've wasted about 10 bucks for the last eight months, you know, obviously per month. Um, and I've only watched two pay-per-views, so I'm probably going to cancel the network and save my 10 bucks, you know, and maybe put that towards something else. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, get a subscription to, 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 to some, I don't know, but, but, or, or I'll just put it in the bank. I'll save 10 bucks a month. I mean, that's going to add up over the, over time. You know, I've wasted a lot of money over this, uh, uh, you know, on this company. I've, I've paid 10 bucks for what, like f f four years, you know, 10 bucks a month. It adds up. And it's not worth it. It's not worth it when you're watching a terrible company like this uh, to, to pay money to, to watch. I mean, every show I watch, I don't have to pay for it. Uh, you know, every pretty much every show, uh, I don't have to pay for it. It's free. I watch it, and that's it. Wrestling, it's a terrible show, and you got to pay for it. So you're paying for shit. You know, it's like you go to a restaurant, and you're paying, you know, and they bring you out a pile of shit. You know, it's like, so... You know, I'll probably watch it just so I can review it. You know, I, I'm not really looking too forward to it. The, the the mixed tag match is a terrible idea. Having Stephanie McMahon wrestle is a stupid idea. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Really, you, you couldn't find anything more creative than that. Something you just did at WrestleMania two or three years ago. You're going to do the same motherfucking thing. And you're going to put somebody like Roman Reigns in the main event again after fans continue to reject him and reject him and reject him. There's no question that nobody likes to see him wrestle. That's why he gets booed. He doesn't get booed because people like him. He gets booed because people hate him. And people realize he's a terrible wrestler. Um, so when I heard that that there was going to be a Roman Reigns-Brock Lesnar match at WrestleMania, I, th I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke because they just did it. And they're going to do it again. So, and now they might do Cena versus Undertaker. Well, if you're going to do that, how about you get your shit together? I haven't even seen Undertaker on TV yet. Where's the build? That, that, that's that's like a big time match. Taking Undertaker and Cena, two of the biggest names in wrestling history. And you're going to put them together in a match. But you're not going to have any, mother, any build? No build to that? What's up with that? Um... You know, I, like I, I was watching the highlights of Raw. Of course, I didn't watch it because I don't have time. I don't, I don't, I don't have the energy to sit down for three hours and watch a pile of shit show. But I, I was, I saw some highlights, and Cena's confronting Kane. Well, why, why is Cena interacting with Kane? Interact with Undertaker if you're gonna have that match. I mean, what the fuck is going? I thought Kane was running for mayor, but he's back at, at Raw. What the fuck's going on? So. Not looking forward to WrestleMania. I'll, I'll probably subject myself to the torture of five hours. But no promises. You know, I'm I'm not making... You know, I, I, I'd always used to say, oh yeah, I'll watch this and review it or whatever the fuck. But I'm not making any promises because you never know with this company. You know, you, you, you never know. Maybe I'll wake up on Sunday and I'll not feel like watching it because I don't feel like sub, subjecting myself to the torture. Maybe I, I'll only watch half of it. But, you know... The only reason I'm going to watch it is so I can review it. I mean, it is WrestleMania after all. I'm sure there'll be some good moments. You know, after ranting for five minutes, you know, I'm sure there'll be a good moment or two 
because it is WrestleMania after all. Maybe a surprise or some shit like that. But um, don't get your hopes up for this company. So there you go. Will I watch Re <coughs> WrestleMania 34? Probably, but there are no promises. So there you go, people.